no meat all. A bit of a update and yes, the place is a mess. Um, I really wanted to do a earlier recording um, but I'm actually waiting on uh, writable DVD discs so I can actually get rid of some data on files to free up some space um, because um, I'll probably do a, a separate post on this managing your digital files um, basically I like to have all my files backed up on a disc and then also hard drive but I am out of room I need more hard drives um, they're a lot more expensive than getting discs so I'm just doing the discs now and um, the ones that I don't watch or use all the time files I'll just put them onto the uh, DVDs and um, then when I get my uh, other drive which hopefully before the end of the year which is not far away um, then I'll be able to sort things out because I am intending to um, I've got some recordings from six years back um, I have lost about 80% of my recordings from when um, I lost my channel on YouTube um, <laughs> second time after 10 years of work just boom pulled it's like thanks no recourse or anything um, and to, to add an insult to injury it's also they get someone else to do it in like India and um, then you know <laughs> it's you have zero Buckleys and uh, yeah of um, I don't know there seen there was a while there where it was happening to a lot of people like people who've been loading onto YouTube for a really long time um, and there was nothing we could do so anyway I digress um, so yeah, so that's why I haven't uploaded as much as I would like to. <laughs> and it's nothing to do with the fuzz bucket. Hello. Um, anyway, so I wanted to do a quick update on my yarn crafting. Now, I have got... I don't have my battery slashing, so I'm going to have to keep this quick. Um, I... A little tip is I actually like to do with the granny squares that I'm doing for my multiple throws I actually like to do the the centers for I'm doing like seven granny square blankets at the moment different ones so I'm actually doing the center motifs for all of them and then I'll pick one and I'll do you know the the rest for a one strip that I sew together and then uh, so forth and so forth but I'll share a bit more of that when I've done more of the other blanket motifs because I've only got one at the moment now this is a really cool poncho I really like it it's not the yarn that is recommended um, the yarn I'm using is a USA style sports bulky weight uh, it's a 4.5 recommended hook or needle and I used a 4 and it's still too big like but I, I, I tend to find this with some patterns, like with hats as well. And I oh know I'm not the only one. I was just like gigantic. It's like, what? Um, so I'm actually, <laughs> I'm going to have to unpick it all. Unravel it all. And I'm going to go for a three, three millimeter hook. <laughs> because I quite literally could remove ten clusters and they'll be perfect. Because I don't want this on the the underneath my shoulder. I want it on the shoulder or on top of. Because this is kind of a bit heavy. And uh, that's just going to weigh down over time and stretch. I like my ponchos, so like these sorts of ponchos, to be heavy and stiff. Because I, when I have ponchos, I've had them in the past where they're flimsy, floozy, and they sort of move everywhere where you move, like, oh, sorry, in the, in different directions. Drives me nuts. I like to feel like the poncho's solid and it's going to just drape and sit there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not move on its own sort of thing. It moves with me, but not on its own, like the really light flimsy ones do. Therefore, I don't really like buying them. I think it's better to make your own. Um, I'll put a uh, link to what this pattern is. It's by uh, Notvia. Or is it Nativa? Oh, brain at the moment. I need coffee. Um, I've been inspired by Knitting Traditions and her Watchman cap from Pearl Soho. 
um, using the same yarn and it's a 4.5 but I think the oh, going off by memory I think the needle that I'm using as recommended is 3.25 um, and it's a really stiff but I like that so I'm hoping it's going to sit okay. If it sits okay, I'm definitely going to make more. Because I, I do want to do some wool, wool ones, but I want some non-wool ones because I like beanies when it's not cold as well, or in you know intermediate, just to keep my freaking hair <laughs> out of my face and keep it, you know, not like a bird's nest because there's so much of it. I can sit on my hair. Um... So I will do a another post hopefully when I've you know cleared up some space on my drives and uh, got some house you know uh, file housework sorted out um, and my nails are all ghastly. Um, I was saving a. I wish my battery wasn't flashing. Am I going to be pushing it? There's a baby blackbird, and I sort of saved it. And you know what, his dad, I picked his dad up <laughs> probably about eight months, no, six months ago. Oh gosh. I swear, ducks are the most randiest creatures. I feel sorry for the girls, but check this out, look. Yeah. <laughs> The boys when they do it, how are you going sooner? You guys are hornbags. Where are you going? Um, yeah, they do a victory lap. Oh, oh, free! Come on, Fawn's just had a go. Oh, here we go. He's like, I want to turn to Frig. Frig, hey, just be gentle. I'll do a post on ducks and uh, managing them. But they literally surf the girls. <laughs> and it's like this sort of like ritual of freak. Hey! Did you see, see, the, see the victory parade? What are you doing? Be gentle. Um, <laughs> so they do a victory. What's going on, Marilyn? They do a victory parade, but um, Fawn actually does this whistle at the same time. He's sort of like. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh no. Oh no. Where are you, Bubba? I hope he's gone back into the nest and he's not fallen down. Such a squishy, podgy little thing. Hey, are you back in there? Yeah, I've got to sort all this out. <laughs> yeah, if um, if you've never had ducks before, my God. They <laughs> oh my gosh, they're just like, like almost always at it, it's especially at specific times of the year. Hey, Mama, this baby. Papa. It's um, I had one of my Maggies here with her baby. And she was getting really close to the little baby blackbird. And mum and dad blackbird were going choppo. So I had to put the hose. I feel sorry. But then I went and got some food and they were alright. I mean, what do you do? They're hungry, you know. But when I gave them the food, they weren't interested in the baby duckling anymore, you know. Hey, baby! Ooh. You guys are such hornbags. Yeah! I do love you though. You're so gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Are you okay though, Suna? <coughs> oh, Marilyn, dude. You mind? What's going on? Suna. Suna. <coughs> Are you hot, honey? Are you hot? I want to get a actual swimming pool for him. Yay! Look on the waters! Look on the waters! Come on! Oh. But she's like Freya! Oh, you're so cute. She reminds me of Nutmeg. My little Nutmeg duck. Yeah! Suna! But Suna's like literally like. Jump on! 
she she literally goats the boys so it's like okay <laughs> and like they sleep inside so I, I I'm, I'm not exaggerating like they're at it at least five to eight times every night and in the morning and then in the bathtub when they have a bath in the morning it's just like oh my gosh guys you're ridiculous hello oh Marilyn Marilyn's beard what are you going on about? You're just neighbours. You're just neighbours. I know. I've got to do the planting up of here. Yeah, my beautiful chooky wookies. Are we home? <coughs> oh, days. <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> Sooner. Anyway, bless be Mary Pat. I'll finish recording. Hi! <laughs> hey.